What is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another Major Ben tech video and I'm just going to be talking and voicing my opinions a little bit in this video because I want to talk about Steam Deck and the future of PC gaming because I think this device's launch has drastically changed what we can expect from the PC market in the future. But just want to say, please do leave a like on this video if you do enjoy it. Please do consider subscribing if you really have enjoyed this video. And please let me know in the comments down below what I can do to improve my content. And just give me some advice, give me some you know thoughts of what you think I can do to improve. How are you finding your Steam Deck? Have you got your Steam Deck yet? Let me know down below in the comments. But let's talk about Steam Deck and the future. So I want to briefly touch on the Alienware Project UFO. You guys will probably know it. It's in the thumbnail. And this was a device that uh, actually was huge for me and got me very, very excited about handheld PC gaming. And uh, it was very much a Switch ripoff. You actually had the detachable controllers. You had uh, this little like middle piece where you could detach the controllers from the device and slot those into this middle piece like you can with the Switch. And uh, yeah, yeah, it had a tabletop stand where you could, you know, stand the the uh, the I was gonna say Steam Deck. You could stand the UFO up and have this controller and then dock it and stuff. Like it was literally a blatant ripoff of the Switch. And this thing looked incredible. You had like LED lights under the analog sticks and stuff. Um, it just looked awesome like it looked really mean and in my personal opinion looked far better than what the steam deck looks like because the steam deck in my opinion i love the device you guys should know that from all my other videos but it really could do with improvements on the way it looks i think color schemes could be nice to have some you know leds or just a, just a little bit nicer looking of a device if you look at project ufo you can tell it's had a ton of thought put into the way it looks and i love that and i think that is needed on the steam deck but this device, Project UFO, actually had a ton of attention, and I bet Dell slash Alienware are really kicking themselves right now for not going out and releasing this device, because judging by the success of the Steam Deck, if they had put a similar amount of work into this, this device, they could have had one of the best-selling devices of the year. It would have been absolutely phenomenal, and I think they're probably kicking themselves thinking, damn, we could have done something pretty incredible here, but unfortunately, that did not happen. But... This has kickstarted off a big thing. I seriously think with the Steam Deck success, more companies like Alienware and uh, and Razer are probably going to start considering doing their own handhelds. We know that very, very far back in the day, actually Razer did have their own PC handheld, and I believe it had like a, a GTX um, 650M, a mobile graphics card at the time that was very good, and it actually had a 650M in this handheld kind of tablet like device and that kind of kicked it all off obviously back then battery life was not something that was very good hence why steam has now come out of this device we have the battery capacity near enough down uh, where we can actually play these AAA titles for like two hours on the steam deck it does happen so now that we have the technology to do that we've got these amazing apus um from companies like uh Radian, AMD, Radian, uh, why did I say Radian? AMD, uh, doing these APUs along with their, you know, Zen 2 architecture and stuff that really helps performance at a very low power usage. So we're going to start seeing more of these devices. And personally, in my opinion, this is going to carry PC gaming drastically. I have a very powerful desktop with an RTX 3080 in it. And before that, I like to play on my TV and I have always been a console fan. I've loved my Series X. I've loved my PlayStation 5 and I've loved both previous gen systems. I've always been a console gamer. Uh, I now have my RTX 3080 PC and I can tell you the Steam Deck is the primarily, pri is the, is primarily, that's one, the reason that I now choose to play on PC. I have my PC set up so it can connect to my TV as well at the same time. As my monitors, I can quick switch with hotkey on my keyboard to switch to my TV when I want it or to my three monitors on my desk and I can play games like I would on a console through Steam um, in big picture mode and stuff on the TV and I have started playing there 
The graphics is ridiculously insane on that. And then I can also carry on games where I left off on my handheld. This has brought me away from the console market that I was very dedicated to with physical games. Uh, and I loved collecting my physical games. You'll see that in some of my older videos to a fully all digital market on PC. That has really brought me away from that. And that is saying something. And I think many people will start moving across once more of these devices come out. I want to see Razer releasing an awesome device you can imagine their color schemes um it will be insane their uh the way that they use uh, peripherals will be awesome um i would love to see that and the same with dell i hope they do kind of gear up and look to release this project ufo we're going to see more and more powerful versions of these systems some games are already running very high at 60 fps on the steam deck and we can see that there's going to be more higher end versions even steam themselves we did a video of uh, probably a couple of months back now talking about how steam announced that they're biggest selling version of the model was the 512 gigabyte version showing that people are willing to pay more money for higher spec devices you know if if alienware came out with one of these devices a, a grand or a grand and a half 1500 pounds or us dollars i know that there's going to be a select market that will buy this um with much higher specs, you can get higher performance, get a nice OLED screen, get maybe a higher refresh rate screen. If you've got those higher specs, you can probably have a have an, a 1080p uh, 120 hertz display on this thing, for example, because it's it's higher powered. You could potentially sell a dock. I know Alienware you know used to sell their hub thing where you could connect it to the laptop and use an external graphics card they could bundle along stuff like that with this thing you could get a you know an, an rtx 3080 and dock this thing in with one cable into a 3080 get a powerful enough cpu or the cpu part of the apu in this device and use it as a main desktop pc and personally in my opinion that is where i can see pc gaming going in the future these things are powerful enough on their own especially if you have one with a very powerful cpu in there you then can just dock it and the GPU power could be done from an external GPU and then the APU is, you know, covered when it's when it's on portable mode. You know, the Switch has brought all this stuff forward. It's amazing to see. And I seriously think that this is the way the PC market is heading. I think that the Steam Deck has changed the future of PC gaming. I, I really do. I think the Steam Deck is sold massively. I think people are loving this device more than ever before. And I can really see this device blowing up more and more and others coming out like Dell, Alienware, Razer, whoever coming out with these, their own versions of these more expensive, more powerful versions and people adopting this technology more and more over time. So I'm excited. We should all be excited. It's an awesome time to be a PC gamer. As I say, I've actually come from the console space myself, and I love that space. I have a massive investment in physical uh, PlayStation and Xbox games that I will keep the exclusives, but everything else I'm now buying on PC. It's my preferred place to play, partially due to all these devices coming out and, and seeing the amazing way I can carry on Witcher um, from my desktop PC of native 4K, 60 FPS, locked, higher setting things nvidia hair works everything and then i come away to my steam deck put the graphics down to like medium still can play at 60 fps and have an awesome time while i'm away it's amazing the the, the the continuity between those two devices is unmatched the switch yes it's fantastic i love how you can even undock it in the middle of a game obviously you can't do that between pc and steam deck but at the same time there is a massive compromise where there is not if you have the option to carry on your save on a desktop pc i know you do with um witcher 3 on desktop pcs and steam De and, and, and nintendo switch sorry but there are no other games that support that cross save feature so this is huge i think this is the future i'm excited Excited to see where all this goes with battery life increasing, um, better APUs coming all of the time like you can see in the series s for example if you could if you put that in an 800p screen you'd be running games at 120 hertz all the time like if you took a series s apu and put this in a freaking handheld in and i'm not saying now it's not possible now with the amount of power draw that it has but in the future things get better things get more efficient and that is coming you're gonna start to see you know we, we already have the power of a playstation 4 and an xbox one in the palm of our hands in the steam deck now we already have that those games are running the same way they were 
transfer on those devices on this device. It, it It's already happening. So this, in the next few years, we're going to get, you know, Series S power in the palm of our hands with perfect battery life. Batteries are being improved due to various different reasons. And that is bringing us key new features. Um, cooling is being, you know, an issue with these devices in the past and because again of those apus being very low power draw they do put out less heat than they have done previously so this is an exciting time to be a pc gamer i can't wait to see what the future brings thank you so much for watching this video please do leave a like subscribe to the channel tons more coming you guys have been awesome in terms of support and everything um, and i can't thank you guys enough so thank you for watching i'll see you in future videos bye bye for now